And we also have something here about... The collector's particle beam weapon is strangely crafted, possessing few moving parts, lacking any obvious means for disassembly, and containing organic parts. The amount of energy required to create a destructive beam is several orders of magnitude more than the energy required to launch a physical projectile at high velocity via a mass effect field. Lacking any clear ammunition or fuel source, the device likely uses heat sinks or compensators to maintain firing during sustained combat. Current Cerberus efforts to understand the technology and replicate it have failed. Cerberus specifically. Curious. Curious. Either way, that is that weapon. Let's go back to the pistol here. And let's explore. This looks interesting. Biotic damage. Use the research computer. Yes. It does look interesting. And that's probably the way forward. Mm-hmm. How come we don't see more frozen people around? The collectors have already loaded them onto their ship. We're running out of time. No, Miranda, we're not running out of time. Because it's all scripted. Do not worry. Do not lie to me. With your lies. Where did I get that much ammo? And as you see, as you can see, the fact that um, I didn't reload that gun means I couldn't actually collect all the ammo. And that's quite upsetting. It means I have to have my weapons loaded at all times. Otherwise, my low ammo situation gets even worse. We have a computer that we can access for 3,000 credits. And now... Hmm. I don't think there's anybody here. There is somebody here, after all. Okay, it's another Scion here. Uh, let's go with this. That's bad news. Okay, that's gone. Oh, that's bad news as well. Of course. I think there's another one. I'll put them down. Melt that one. Stop it. Uh. On the ground now. No shields. The shotgun really is tremendous trash. Yeah, there's another one. Burn and die. That attack is powerful. Need to be real careful here. Oh, it gets stuck when I'm attacking. It gets stun locked. There's the transmitter. Thank you. I don't know where it is, but investigate tower. Are you pointing it to me or there's computers? Yeah, the shotgun is just a terrible weapon. I I know that I could have upgraded it a little bit more. Got one medi gel here.
but but even if I did upgrade it, I, I don't think it would have s surpassed the the biggest problem with it was just lack of range. Or at least it feels like that's the biggest problem. Where's this computer that I can hack? Oh, it's here. Normandy, do you copy? Joker here. Signal's weak, Commander, but we got you. Time to show these things we give as good as we get. Edie, bring the defense towers online. Errors in the calibration software are easily rectified, but it will take time to bring the towers to full power. I recommend a defensive posture. I will not be able to mask the increased generator output. The collectors will try to stop it. Good. Got any other helpful tips? Just one. Enemy reinforcements are closing in. I suggest you ready weapons. My weapons are ready, don't worry about it. Or do you mean just ready weapons in general? That sounds bad. Yeah, right on your ass. That's real bad. My attacks will tear you apart. Your your attacks? Leave the dead where they fall. Bypassing fail saves and attempting emergency power up. Please hold a defense tower. I need to regenerate. bad. Don't shoot me. Did you die? No. Oh, I like this bit of the soundtrack. There will be more. There's always more. Not always, always. But, um, but yeah, he did die. See, he's not called Arbinger. He just says that word. He just says the word, and people misunderstand him as saying. Headshots. I'm not protecting the tower very much, honestly. Uh, headshots are really useful against uh, against these guys. Let's get the other weapon. Reloaded. Let's get back to the pistol here. Because ammo. Get ready. There's got to be more. Ammo is always a huge problem. Okay, well, that's something for this. Edie, we need that system online. Yeah, this is an issue. That was ineffective. Firing anti-ship batteries and collector vessel.
Stop it. Stop it. Kill it. I think it did. Wow, that was close. Get away! That ship is huge. Exactly how are we supposed to catch it? Half the colony's in there. They took Egan and Sam and, and Lilith. Do something! I did my best. You just hid in your damn bunker. Show respect. If it wasn't for Shepard, you'd all be on that ship. Shepard? Wait. I know that name. Sure, I remember you. You're some type of big alliance hero. Commander Shepard. Captain of the Normandy, the first human specter, savior of the Citadel. You're in the presence of a god, Delan, back from the dead. Oh, the good people we lost and you get left behind. Figures. Screw this. I'm done with you alliance types. <laughs> that was well delivered. I thought you were dead, Commander. We all did. A reunion has to wait. Cerberus brought me back to stop attacks like this. You're with Cerberus now? I can't believe the reports were right. Reports? So much for security. Alliance Intel said Cerberus could be behind our missing colonies. We got a tip that this one could be the next to get hit. I went to Anderson, but he wouldn't talk. But there were rumors that you weren't dead. Worse, that you were working for the enemy. Cerberus and I want the same thing, to save our colonies. That doesn't mean I answer to them. Do you really believe that? Or is that just what Cerberus wants you to think? I wanted to believe that you were alive. I just never expected anything like this. You've turned your back on everything we stood for. The past is done. You need to focus on what's happening now. You saw it yourself. The Collectors are targeting human colonies, and they're working with the Reapers. I'd like to believe you, Shepard, but I don't trust Cerberus. And it worries me that you do. What did they do to you? What if they're behind it? What if they're the ones working with the Collectors? Typical Alliance attitude. You're so focused on Cerberus that you're blind to the real threat. I can see you won't listen to reason. You show up after two years and tell me you're working with Cerberus. Sounds like you left reason behind a long time ago. Doesn't matter. I still know where my loyalties lie. I'm an Alliance soldier. It's in my blood. I'm reporting back to the Citadel. I'll let them decide if they believe your story. We both know how that's gonna turn out. The Alliance will try to blame Cerberus just like you did. With good reason. Cerberus can't be trusted. So long, Commander. Good luck. It's worth pointing out that, um... Shepard didn't say she trusted Cerberus. Joker, send the shuttle to pick us up. But enough of this colony. And we have succeeded. <laughs> Why is he all jiggly? Shepard, good work on Horizon. Hopefully the Collectors will think twice before attacking another colony. It's not a victory. We interrupted the Collectors, but they still abducted half the colony. That's better than an entire colony, and more than we've accomplished since the abductions began. The Collectors will be more careful now, but I think we can find another way to lure them in. I wondered if you had something to do with that attack. Ash said the Alliance got a tip about me and Cerberus. I released a few carefully disguised rumors that you might be alive and working for Cerberus. I see. What were you trying to prove? I suspected the Collectors were looking for you, or people connected to you. Now I know for certain. It was a risk, but I couldn't just wait for them to take another colony. You understand? 
We have to make sure they don't abduct anyone else. I want the Collector stopped for that very reason. That's why we're doing this, Shepard. I'm devoting all resources to finding a way through the Omega-4 Relay. We have to hit them where they live. Your team will need to be strong, as will their resolve. There's no looking back. The same goes for you. Can I assume you've put your past relationships behind you? I think now we have a clear insight. We might... we probably already had it, I was just not smart enough to see it. We have an insight into what the Uzi man wants. His whole thing, like, he's just saying... He's the hot... he's spewing a hot hair, really. Um, about, you know, trying to stop the Collector's attacks and all this sort of stuff. What he wants to do is get past the Omega-4 Relay. That's what he wants. The whole thing about humanity and whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, this is just busy work, maybe tangentially related to getting past the Omega-4 Relay. And I say that we probably should have seen this coming because he did mention the Omega-4 Relay at the beginning of the game and how he wants to, to get past that. And it's very obvious that that's where we're going. I think I mentioned it. None of your damn business. If it affects the mission, better you should leave it behind. Shepard, once you find a way through the Omega-4 Relay to the Collector homeworld, there's no guarantee you'll return. To have any hope of surviving, you and your entire team must be fully committed to this. I'll make sure they're ready, one way or the other. The Collectors won't know what hit them. I trust you know what you're doing. I just want to be clear about your odds. I've forwarded three more dossiers. Keep building your team while I find a way through the relay. And be careful, Shepard. The Collectors will be watching you. I guess we're really gonna do it. Hit the Omega-4 Relay. Take the fight to the Collectors in person. Looking forward to the action. After seeing what those bastards did on Horizon, though, makes you think. They're powerful, but we've got a few tricks for them. If anyone can stop them, we can. No argument there, Commander. Horizon just made it hit home. What we're doing, what we're up against. Gonna go take care of a little unfinished business. I imagine everyone else is, too. Getting some closure, you know? He's gonna break up with his girlfriend, I think. So that then we can bang okay. Is it real bang okay in this game or in the third game? I don't actually know. I don't remember that line. I know that it's a meme, but I don't remember. I don't even know if it's true. If it's a true line. Maybe it is. Let's see what we have over here in terms of the upgrades that we have collected. We have biotic damage here. Uh, it's just for biotic, extra biotic damage in the biotics. Can we train powers? Oh, interesting. Heavy skin we weave, or skin weave, or however pronounced, it's difficult. Heavy bone weave over here. There you go. And what else do we have in the retrain the powers? I don't need that. Alright, pretty good. Hovering tanks resembling a cross between an octopus and a giant crab. Praetorians are well-armored killing machines of mysterious origin. Praetorians employ redundant systems from the multiple humans encased within them. Armed with eye-mounted particle beams and capable of attacks at close range, they teleport to evade attack while regenerating their shields. Within hours after death, the organic components of Praetorian corpses disintegrate into a denatured pus while their mechanisms turn to ash. One specimen, autopsied within minutes of death, reveals a clue. Nanomachines may disintegrate the Praetorian's organic and mechanical components before self-destructing. If correct, this self-rendering hypothesis could account for three documented cases of dead Praetorians apparently releasing, or becoming, clouds of neurotoxic gases, causing suffocating paralysis and nearly instant death. In one remote facility, 17 soldiers died from gas inhalation while assessing the Praetorian. Any personnel in the vicinity of dead Praetorians are urged to protect themselves with breathing apparatus. It's fair. And uh, I don't think we have anything in the secondary. All right. Hey, Jacob. Oh, now we have something here. Commander. Sorry, I'm a little unfocused. Personal matter. It won't affect my duties. I always have time for my crew. What is it? As I said, 
It's a personal matter. I don't want to waste our time if it turns out to be a goose chase. But... Well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Family. I'm listening. My private log got an update about the Hugo Gerns back. The ship my father served on. It sent an SOS last week, reporting a crash and requesting a rescue. Shepard, that ship went missing ten years ago. I hadn't talked to my father for three years before that. I've buried everything but a body. Now, I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. I'd think you'd be more excited that your father might be alive. He wasn't around enough for me to have bad memories. It's an old, well-healed wound. But if he's actually alive and needs help... I also want to note that it's not normal procedure for distress calls to be routed to the Normandy. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. Any signs that this is a Cerberus front? Who passed this to you? I doubt the elusive man would let a direct operation stake hold this long. If there's a link, it's probably just about money. Cerberus needs diverse holdings to fund projects like... Well, you. She disagrees for some reason. And whoever sent this my way covered their tracks. Someone could be fishing for favors, or thought it would get under my skin. Who knows with that bunch. You didn't get along with your father? He made no apologies, I'll give him that. You make a mistake, you own up to it. Even if you keep making it. That's not what owning up to a mistake is. Whatever problems we had were a lifetime ago. I've had ten years to get to where I am. And as far as I know, he's still a ghost. Tell me about the Hugo Gernsback and what it was doing. Privately held frigate. I looked over the mission brief when it disappeared. Nothing stood out. Typical research and grab operation. Find an uncharted planet, stake a claim, and establish as large a presence as you can as fast as possible to shut out competitors. I think we can spare the time. Pass the coordinates to Joker. I appreciate that, Commander. I don't expect more than dusty old bones, but it'll be good to close the record. Mm-hmm. I hope we can clear up what's going on with the Gurns back, Commander. Doubt my father's alive after all this time. Was there anything else? Just eager to get going. Any thoughts on how to prepare against the Collectors? They spec this ship to the original Normandy, but you were there. The Collectors cut her like butter. This armor just isn't top of the line anymore. People will die if we don't upgrade. Alliance had some new toys in Secret Dev before I left. I could try and pull a few favors. Ship enhancements. Heavy ship armor. For sure. We've got the best armor available. The rest is outside my expertise, Commander. We'll talk later. Shepard. Later. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Just one? Okay. Can I help you, question mark, from Robin Reeve. Commander, the Alliance soldier here gave me this contact information, dash dash. I hope this reaches you. You said you were trying to stop the collectors. They took my son and my brother, who is not my son, to be specific. They took two people. Okay, it's important, the distinction. Anyway, have you found them? Do you know where they are? I know you're looking, but so many people are just gone. Every family lost someone. The children are the worst in general uh every or sorry empty desks at the schools winter clothes that never got worn because they got to taken before winter please the alliance isn't doing anything the council isn't doing anything if you can find our people i'm begging you to do something tell me something i can do tell me anything robin reeve can i i can't reply like I, it's not a feature in my email sorry it's broken so i can't do that I've got an appointment with Shaira in three months. I can't wait. We're flying into the eye of the storm, and you're thinking about some Asari prostitute? Hey, watch it. It's not like that at all. She's so... she's... You won't understand unless you meet her. Uh, yeah, you wouldn't. Also, I don't think... Prostitute describes... Uh, it definitely describes how she's perceived, but it doesn't describe what she does. Hey, Commander. It's, uh, pretty crazy the people you can run into out here, huh? I mean, it was probably a setup or something, but it was still good to see Ash, Operations Chief Williams, wasn't it? Another reminder of how I lost more than time. I don't need this garbage. Right. 
Understood, Commander. I assume everything's going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Uh, that joke doesn't land in this game, actually. Because in this game he doesn't talk about his disease, where his bones are brittle. Which is not osteoporosis, it's a different thing. And also in this game he walks. For whatever reason. 